could you please uh, tell everyone uh, where you're from and why are you here? <laughs> Hello, my name is Sabrina and I'm from Arizona. And uh, in 2019, I was having a lot of symptoms, like very tiring, gaining weight, um, lost my hair and just couldn't sleep. My sleep pattern it just went off and I was really, really struggle in 2019. And then I work from home, so I thought, you know what, probably it's the stress that I was going through. I'm getting more weight and I just, at the point that I couldn't even sleep. So that went on, like, I started to concern about my health, so I scheduled a doctor's appointment. Um, finally, I got that appointment and then, um, well, they asked me the symptoms. They did the blood test. I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism, um, which is a low active of thyroid, which causes me to, my body not to produce um, hormone. And I, that's the reason that I was losing my hair and gaining weight and have other symptoms that I had. All of, struggling with all of those symptoms, how did it affect your daily life? Well, I was very fatigued, like very tired. And it, my mood was like, like, I don't know, I had a, I couldn't even like go like even myself and I go, oh my gosh, this is Sabrina, really? <laughs> so yeah, it was affecting me like, um, and just very tired and yeah, it definitely affected me and, and my work too, because sitting down all day long and then with getting weight, so for sure it was hard for me. You went to the doctor and what happened then? What did the doctor um, tell you and how did you receive your healing? Um, so, so when I got diagnosed, they prescribed me with medication, and because I was very low, they gave me um, small amounts of dosage, um, so that way the doctor can monitor me. And then after three months, I ended up going back to the doctor. They increased it just a little bit more um, because they were concerned that thyroid were very low, and then. Then I applied for an internship, was accepted. Then I go like, oh, she's like, no, I need to talk to the doctors because I'm leaving. Um, then she prescribed me more medication for me to bring to the internship since it was three months. Um, and then during one of the prayer, in the morning prayer with the interns, I just feel heavily on my heart that God really wants to heal me and that I should stop taking the medication. But I was a little like nervous about it and I did not stop taking the medication. But um, one Sunday, during our Sunday service, they were praying for healing specifically and mentioned thyroid. And I just feel it like I go like, okay, this is for me. And I embrace that and I align my prayer with, with the person that was praying and just knew that God healed me at that moment. Come on, come on, let's give a round of applause to Jesus Christ. And Sabrina, you believed for your healing, you received that word, you prayed about it. and. What started to happen with your symptoms and things like that? So it definitely it was process. It didn't went away right away. And I was just really cautious about it, pay attention about the symptom. Um, as soon as I get back to Tucson, Arizona, I schedule a doctor appointment for a follow-up. And again, it took for a while for me to get there into April. But finally, when I got there, I did share with the doctors that um, I stopped taking the medication and she was concerned and really go like, why did you stop taking the um, medication without my authorization? And I share a little bit about like me coming to the internship and I believe that God healed me. And she was kind of keep mentioning about the symptom. If I still have that symptom, and I go like, no, I don't have any of those symptoms. And, and, but if, if I need to take the medication after the, the blood test, I will if I have to. And then she go like, oh yeah, you will. <laughs> kind of like challenge me a little bit, but I, yeah, I share what God have done in me. And yeah, she just kind of ordered that blood test the same day and the same day we got the result. Um, but three or four days later, the MA called me and said, you're negative. You have no thyroid anymore. Come on, let's give a round of applause for Jesus. This is so awesome. You know, each testimony, each miracle is a proof that God is still alive and that God loves us and that He desires to heal us. Amen. And Sabrina, we are so happy for your healing. And would you please uh, share a word of advice to people, to someone maybe watching and they are struggling with a similar sickness or different sickness. What would you suggest to them? 
I just wanted to say um, to put your faith in God and just believe that he will heal you. He wants to heal you, but he also wants us to trust in him. So just, it doesn't matter if you're watching online or distant. It's not a barrier for God. He is our healer, and I just really want to encourage you to believe and hold on to him and, and pray and believe. Come on. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing.